Oh my god! Wow, you can see the face. V, do you actually like this fertilized duck egg? Of course I do. How old were you when you first tried it? Five years old. Do you think that's safe? Is that child abuse? No! Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we're eating fertilized duck egg in two different countries. Now, in the Philippines, they call it palut. But here in Vietnam, they call it, ah, uh, V, what do they call it? Hog bit long. Right. So tonight, V is going to show me everything I could possibly want to know about fertilized duck egg in Vietnam. But first, let's jump over to Cebu City in the Philippines. Uh The Philippines boasts a huge number of street foods loved by the locals, but perhaps none is more popular or notorious than balut. Balut is a fertilized duck egg. This tasty treat is eaten all over Asia, but every country has their own special twist. Today, we're having the ultimate showdown between the Filipino balut and the Vietnamese version called Chung Vit Blom, with a couple surprises thrown in. What is going on in my mouth? Let's get started. Eggs are always a fun gamble in the Philippines. You never know what is inside. It could be any various animal. It could have developed any various age. We're not sure, except here, they've added some clarity. These blue ones are the duck egg. This is the balut. And what they've done is they put the number of days it's been developing on the egg. Balut, it can be anywhere from like 14 days to 18, 19 days. Obviously, the more time it spends in there, the more it's starting to look like a real duck. I only see 16 days and 18 days. I did make a balut video before. I believe that one was only around 14 or 15 days. I mean, that's not that extreme. It's not that hardcore. This is what the show is about. We're pushing ourselves to new limits. Yes, I've tried balut. I tried the, the younger version, and now it's time to try its older brother the 18 day version of Balut. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm very much gonna impress everybody watching with my Balut eating skills. And I will eat this with no problem, just like a local person. You wanna crack the top and then you sip the soup. That's good. And the eggs are warm, by the way. All these eggs are warm. So at least you're not eating like a cold fetus. You're eating a warm fetus. It's, uh, it brings out the flavor, the heat, really brings out the flavor. From there, we're gonna chip away at it, revealing the loveliness that is inside. And this is really what Balut is known for. It's just for its really beautiful look. All right, and there we've got a little head. Okay, we're gonna do the whole thing. Wow. And you know, this could have been a whole duck, but right now it's just gonna be a whole mouthful of food. I'm gonna put some vinegar on there. All right, so it's really, it ain't no thing. You just gotta, you gotta just tank it, and throw it in. Wow, now that looks yummy. I'm gonna eat that in a minute, but first, let's see how things are going back in Vietnam. Mmm, V, cool beer, but where are the eggs? Well, there's a guy off and drive around here, and he's gonna be here in a minute, I guess. Oh, there's like a, no, a cart. Yeah, actually, there it is. Oh, okay, let's go. While you're drinking, you have some eggs? Well, it depends. If you wanna drink, then you can drink. So you're allowed to eat the eggs even when you're not drinking? Yep. Oh. See, as far as I understand, <laughs> these little mobile restaurants go all around the city and they have their kind of audio playing, their little speaker explaining what's on the menu. And so what he right. has here today is what? So you can see this is the menu. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we've got some hot ga nung. Yeah, hot ga nung mean the Grilled eggs. So usually, if you see a chicken egg in the show, it's uh, boiled in the U.S. But here, they're actually in this little tray and they're being grilled. So these are all cooked, right? Yep, bap sao, which means the stir fry corn. Hoop lok is quail egg, like the developed quail egg. Developed quail egg? Yeah. So you don't just have a developed duck egg, you also have a developed quail egg. Yes. Okay, we gotta try that for sure. Can we try that developed quail egg? Of course, yes. Which one is it though? Because there's a huge bag here so full here of quail eggs. So here they only have, they only sell like developed quail eggs. Okay, so here is a quail egg. Very cute, very tiny. And you're saying inside here is a developed baby quail. So kind of like a mini balut. Mini. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. Ooh. 
see? Oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. What is going on? Oh, it opens really easily. Oh my God. Look at this adorable thing. It's like the popcorn chicken of developed eggs. This show, we certainly don't judge. Um, and we're all about trying out new things and understanding different cultures. And, and how, so how do you eat this? So I've got my quail fetus here, but also I have some lovely fresh herbs, some salt, pepper, chilies, and kumquat juice to bring it all together. So we're gonna try dipping this in there. Can you feel it? It's really fun. It actually tastes pretty good. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. It's a little freaky to start out with. It's very developed. Like it seems like it's, uh, it was about to kick a hole in that egg and escape. For my Filipino besties, you gotta try it with the herbs and the seasoning. So usually in the Philippines, they have it with vinegar or salt. Mm -hmm. But this is really good with the herbs. It actually makes it kind of refreshing. Yes. And it makes it taste Gives it more of that soupy flavor while you're eating it. It's so like classic Vietnam style. So now we're gonna try this half developed duck egg. Can you see the different color here? Oh, is it that hollow the on the top? Yeah, yeah, the air. Careful. All right, that? And yeah, then... and then open it. So you eat this like you're eating some Hagen dazs or something? Yeah. With a little spoon? Yeah. Oh, and it is Ooh. like a yogurt. And it's. It smells like a wet duck. Yeah, let's put some seasoning on there for sure. Careful. This is the most unusual taste sensation I've ever had in my life. <laughs> what is going on in my mouth? So it's super creamy and it tastes like some kind of hot egg flan. You say half developed? Mm hmm Because there's no body parts. It's all smooth and I don't even see like a yolk and a white part. It is like a duck custard. It's so unusual. Here's your huh? It's like pretty good. It's really hard to compare this to the Filipino version of balut because theirs is developed with body parts, but this is more just creamy. There's no distinct body parts. It's just a creamy mixture of white and yolk inside. The only plate that's selling the hot form of the duck egg is just the movie cart like this. Mm. But I'm gonna bring you to the place where they sell the fully developed duck egg. Then let's go to that place. But first, let's go back to Cebu City. Okay, we're gonna do the whole thing. You just gotta, you gotta just take it and throw it in. That is the worst looking and best tasting balut I have ever had. And I think doing it all in one bite is the way to go. You have to put some vinegar on there. It just adds a little, a little flavor, a little punch to it. But it really just tastes like a hard boiled egg with plenty of like egg yolk flavor. Not bad. And that was an 18 day one. I'm proud of myself right now. I mean, no big deal, no big deal. We saw how the Filipinos do balut in the Philippines, and now it's time to see how they do it in Vietnam. The example right here before us. Um, v, what am I looking at? Pork vịt lộn xào me with memed uh, developed duck egg with tamarind sauce. Oh, this is tamarind sauce. And then what are these little crusty things? That's a peanut. Oh, peanut. I was so surprised when we ordered this because I thought they would bring out three eggs that we had to crack and open ourselves. Uh, but no, they've done all the cracking for you, and they made it into kind of a dessert. Wait, are we gonna use the little spoon? Yeah. So you just take a chunk? Okay, cheers. And you just go for it. Oh. Soft, right? It's soft, it breaks apart. Remember the herb? Oh, you put some herbs with it. Look at that. That looks like you can put 20 of these in a box and give it to your girlfriend on Valentine's Day. I mean, it looks beautiful. Beautiful display. Oh, it's pretty good. I love the tamarind sauce. It is a little sour. You kind of forget for a second that you're eating like the head of a duck. Very interesting. And the tamarind sauce, they put some chilies in there too, I think. Yeah, there are some chilies here. You can see. So it's a little bit spicy. Spicy, yes. It's so confusing because it, it tastes almost like a nice 
desserts, but it's a little salty, it's spicy, and then it's sour too. So that is it, a huge surprise. I did not expect this kind of presentation. We've got the tamarind sauce, it's sweet, sour, it's a little spicy, the crunch from the peanuts. I gotta be honest, it's pretty dang good. So now it's up to you guys to decide which style is better. We got the Filipino style with the vinegar and salt, We've got the Vietnamese style with the tamarind sauce, the peanuts, a little bit of spice in there. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you V for introducing me to this place and all these places today. And for you guys, if you are interested in this kind of Vietnamese foodie experience, please hit up One Trip. They are a company putting on amazing food tours in Saigon and Hoi An. I've done the food tour myself. It's amazing. Links for that are in the info box down below. I'll see you next week. A peace.